Hey there, welcome back to more Painkiller Black Edition, entering to chapter two, starting with prison. And our objective here is we have to need to go ahead and finish the level with only non-explosive weapons, so let's go. So the difficulty is gonna start ramping up a little bit, just cause uh, so far we dealt with enemies that done melee. Now we have stuff that has hit scan. So you need to use bunny hopping to your advantage. And I missed. I missed again. Oh shit. Eh. Long reload times. There you go. Let's see, I gotta try rubbing up against this thing here. Ah, no, I couldn't. Okay, I'll grab you then. Alright, so. Best way to progress forward, I guess it's just through there. Yep. Now, if you guys are a bit worried because of the fact that, uh, there's a bunch of explosive, like, barrels and things whatnot floating around here, uh, don't worry, they don't count towards, uh, explosive weapons. The only thing you really have at your disposal is your, like, sub-fire with the stake gun. That's your only explosive thing that you got. So, really, not much to worry about. Also, that was a great flip of that box up there. I love it. There we go. Be able to glide on that. So let's grab this. All right. So now the first secret. This one's kind of going to be a bit tricky on account of you have to go ahead and try to uh, get, try to aim at a barrel that's right behind this here broken fan somewhere. There you go. It should be like right next to it in some way. You just got to hit it at an angle at some way. All right. So considering we have all these boxes here, you know what to do. Go ahead and having to push them up against the wall. And having to try to climb up it. Get this first box into place. There you go. Alright, that's all well and good. But I'm gonna be derpy and gonna do this instead. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this work, damn it. Yeah, she can just climb up the box anyway. <laughs> just by doing some bunny hops. I think that's only because of the, the you know the X design on the on the si side of the box. You can te technically count as a platform, and you just gotta do it quick enough so that you get enough momentum to launch yourself upwards. Figure it's a lot more fun way to do it. I'm gonna make this work. It's stupid, but I love it. Uh, oh, oh, wait, no, I, I had that. I actually had that, but I screwed up. I think what helped out is that the box kind of like flipped over, partially. I think that's what helped. Yeah, like, the, like it did just there. <sighs> Because I think normally if you want, if you try to climb up the box with the other boxes to get on top of it anyways, you wouldn't get like enough height, I don't think. I don't know, it seems kind of a little bit finicky. But this part's going to require a, a good deal of patience. Just got to love messing around with the physics. There you go. And we got ourselves a chalice. And so kindly brings you on over to this next part here. They even got one of those electrical maces at ya. How rude. Yeah, it's only like doing some chip damage right now, but they could add up. So I gotta keep moving. It might even require a time for me to make use of the cards. I somehow passed you. Okay, let's not have that happen. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was a great use of that. <laughs> that freaking barrel. I grab armor, then I shoot myself. Out of its blast radiates. Blast radiates. That was great. That was great words today. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I've seen more intense situations, like playing Serious Sam in VR. Yes, believe it or not, I've actually now owned a Vive, and I've actually went into the virtual world and played Serious Sam. And boy, was I missing out, because holy shit. <laughs> uh, you know, to some people, they say that, you know, the whole VR thing is a gimmick. I mean, I, I know it is, but it's a very immersive gimmick. I see how they just give you a shotgun straight off the bat. Uh, oh, God. Oh, we got mounted turrets up there. Here, give me a sec. There we go. I like how you're in your cage. Yeah, we're definitely going to be needing that. Man, trying to do this on trauma difficulty when there's like hit scans involved, like you got to be able to make the first shot, like no doubt. Let's go up to the sides here. Doing all those drive-bys. Doing bunny hops, avoiding all that. It just feels fun. Love getting souls. Don't want to miss out on that. Oh, nope. There's still one more. Gotcha. And itty bitty little gold. All right, let's head on down. Got ourselves some sort of ammo. I'm not sure what it is. Actually, my, I think I might have gotten some ammo for the um, freezer stuff. However, that look, that ammo type looks like it's like for another weapon, which I don't have yet. I'm gonna assume it's the freezer stuff because it doesn't make sense because uh, we don't get a new uh, weapon in this one. All well and good. Now this is a big of a clusterfuck, so let's try heading in here. And we'll just have them come to us. Because there are some dudes up there that'll shoot ya. Best we take some cover. Yeah, and that, that and those other explosive types are just flying around for them to shoot. Wait for it. Ow. Oh, he was trying to headbutt me. But that guy's no Wario, though. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot. Oh, we're getting close. All right, I want to go ahead and wait for this until we uh, head outside for this next part. Pretty much ideal. Because there are some... Rather bad shit out there. 
Now, before we do, let's see about... Ow. We need to go ahead and explode those barrels inside that cell. We enter to the next one, and we get this. Alright, so now the next part... Okay, good. You're just the one that I... Just the one guy that I needed. Alright, now we need to head out here while we're still invulnerable and shit. Perfect. Hang on, grab the souls. They last... Uh, ah, shit. Oh. No, I was gonna say gold lasts a little bit longer than souls, but now I kinda like lost both now. That's what happens when you go full ham with demon mode. It's a good mode. I love that mode. Alright, nothing more to see. Now we got this here, mess. Oh, might as well grab this. Tis a good idea. Oh, hi. Didn't check all corners. Now I'm locked up. Looks like we got some torture in here. I like how they do give you explosive ammo, but it's just like, <laughs> nah. It's tempting. Yeah, let's get the stake done some love. All right. So last secret here is gonna be right here in this room, but it's currently barred up. So you know the whole shtick. Try to activate the uh, exit uh, thing, and then we have to go ahead and backtrack, pretty much. All right. Oh shoot! Get you through the window and through the wall. No, 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 my butt, no. Oh, shush. I have no right. I have no right to sing that. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm at one health. Turn that off. Whew. Okay, well. At least there's no more monsters. We got all of them. As indicated by that. Alright, now we can go ahead and backtrack over to here to this room. So we can get our last thing. And we got all the goods. Yeah, th th those mounted turrets on the walls, they do hefty amounts of damage. Ugh. It it's not pretty. But in any case... We've completed almost at least time. That would have been even worse. Worse than that one song reference I tried to do. <laughs> there you go. And it says status unlocked, so yeah, we're good. With it, we got ourselves another silver card. Double the ammo and ammo boxes, which I'm not really going to use. But because I can really conserve my web, uh, ammo pretty well. But hey, it's a thing for other people to use. And I see the next level is Opera House. So, definitely gonna feel like an arena shooter in that one, so I'll see you for that one. Take care.